something stupid by Frank Sinatra. Something stupid, not something. And we want to make this very clear. There's no G in this. My name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Uh, there's no G chord in this song also. So coincidence? I think that's impossible. Also, my name is close to the word stupid. If my middle name was Pid, that would have been a great joke from my parents, but it's not. It's Alexander. Stupid Alexander Lehman Brown. All right. Um, let's learn this intro first. This is standard tuning, no capo. Also, no bar chords in this song the way we're doing it, guys, which is the same key that Frank, this is Frank Sinatra. We're basically doing the Frank Sinatra version. So there you go. Guys, you're going to start off by playing five on the second string from the top. You're going to play five, five. You're going to play it dose times with your middle finger. Then on the bottom string, play four, five, seven, seven. So that was bum, 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 bum. Then go back to five. Then you're gonna go to four on the bottom string, but you're gonna do this quick little trill. You're gonna play four, then with your hammer on, oh, I misspoke. With your middle finger, hammer onto the fifth fret, and then pull off back to four. So you're just gonna play the fourth fret, with your middle finger just hit the guitar. Try to push the string into the neck of the guitar. Then you're gonna flick the string off like that. Your middle finger's just gonna go and pluck that string again while you keep your pointer finger on the fourth fret the whole time. So now we've got See that? Then with your pinky place seven on the second string from the bottom. Then we get to the really fast part. On the bottom string play seven, five, four, five extremely quickly, then with your pinky, play seven on the second string from the bottom. Then play five on the second from the bottom. Then you're gonna do another one of those hammer on pull off things from four to five back to four, but on the second string from the bottom. And then you're gonna play the second string from the bottom open. If we put all that together, it's Five, five, four, five, seven, seven, five, triple it, seven. Seven, five, four, five, seven, five, hammer on thing, open. I think my talking through that really helped a lot. Guys, let's just play it without me talking one time. One, two, three, four, one. How'd you do? Great? Fantastic. Then, we're almost done with the intro. On the second string from the bottom, play two, four, five. Then there's a little pause, and then very quickly and quietly and kind of bizarrely, you play five, seven on the second string from the bottom, and then play four, seven on the bottom string. So it's... And then at this point in time, I'm sorry, this intro makes me so bored. Like, it sounds good, it's just so boring to describe. I just go, I play five, play four, do the thing. Put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the... No! Put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the bottom string, but also put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the bottom string. Play the bottom string, then do a little pull off with your middle finger. Then go back to that five with your middle finger, play it, and do another pull off. So it's... And then what happens? We go... Oh, and then play the bottom string open. So that was... And then finally, the big finish. On the third string from the bottom, play four, two, one. Guys, this whole intro very slowly goes like this. One, two, three, four, rest. Five, five, four, five, seven, seven, five, triple it, seven, huh? Hey! Great job! We have made it to the chords! This is where the singing starts, guys! We're gonna play an E chord. There are three sections to this song. We're gonna call it the A section, the B section, and the C section, and we kinda wanna keep track of it because 
Uh, because it's going to help. This is the reason why. Thanks. Great. Perfect teaching. Um, what you're going to do is top string is open, middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, third string from the bottom. This is a classic E chord, guys. What you're going to do on this chord, you're going to strum down, down, up, down, down. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, down. One more time, gang. Down, down, up, down, down. My name is Stuart. This is Marin Music Center Channel. This is my first Frank Sinatra song I've ever done on here, um, but I'll probably do so many more. I'll probably do every song that Frank Sinatra's ever performed. Every performed. So, um, there, so I think uh, it would be like a really good idea if you subscribe to the channel and then you could also go to marinmusic.com, sign up for the mailing list so I can send you my, my schedule each week of what I, what songs I'm doing. It's going to be so much fun. Guys, we've got our E chord down, down, up, down, down. Then take your pinky, put it on the second fret of the second string from the bottom, but keep everything else in the same place and strum down, down, down. This is an E6 chord, so we're going E to E6, and it's going down, down, up, down, 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 down. One, two, here we go. E down, up, down, down, E6, very nice. Let's do that two times in a row. Down, down, up, down, down, E6, great job. Bum, ba, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. The reason why we did it twice in a row is because that's what happens in the song. We're learning the A section of the song currently. It goes, I know I stand in line and count to nine and then you think about it. And then we go to an F sharp minor seven chord, guys, pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top. Try to get the second string from the top muted. Middle finger, second fret on the third string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Pinky, second fret, second string from the bottom. You're gonna go down, down, uh, down, down, up, down, down. On the F sharp minor seven, then we switch to a B seven chord. Get rid of your pointer finger. Take your middle finger, hop it up to the second fret of the second string from the top. Then your pointer finger plays first fret of the third string from the top. And we do down, 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 down. So that's Bum 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 F sharp minor seven to a B seven chord. It's actually this is actually technically a B nine, but it's basically the same as a B seven. I'm just gonna call it a B seven. So we're gonna do our F sharp to B seven thing four times in a row. Quattro. That's Spanish for four. I'm surprised you didn't know that. After we do that four times, we go back to our E to E six thing and do that. Two more times. That is the A section of the song. It's E to E6 twice, F sharp to B four times, then E to E6 two more times. Let's do it all the way through. One, two, not too fast. I know I stand in line and talk to ba da to ba boom ga um ba 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 da Here's one. Here's three. Back to the E. A section complete. Remember that section because we're going to do it again later in the song. Time for the B section. Guys, we need an E7 chord. So have the, the same E chord we had before, but then take your pinky and put it on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. If you cannot reach that, you can play a regular E here and it'll be fine. It's just gonna be way cooler with an E7. So we're gonna do our strumming pattern on the E7. We're gonna do our strumming pattern on the E7 twice in a row. So it's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Then we go to an A chord. A is where you do middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third from the bottom, pinky, second fret, second string from the bottom. Mute the top string with your thumb if you can. Do the strumming pattern one time. And then we go to a C7 chord, guys. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the top, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. That's a regular C. To make it into a C7, put your pinky on the third fret of the third string from the bottom. Do your picking the strumming pattern once on that. Then we go back to our F sharp minor seven to B seven thing. We do that twice. And then we do our E to E six twice. So that is the B section of the song. Let's review B section, E seven twice in a row. 
A once, C7 once, then F sharp to B twice, and then E to E6 twice. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Switch to A, then C7, then F sharp to B, F sharp to B, then E to E6. To E6. Yes, we've made it through the B section. Are you ready for the C section? Not to be confused with the medical procedure. I'm talking about the song section. The C section starts with our E7 chord. Remember that? We're going to do the, C, the E7 chord twice in a row again. Then we go to the A like we did before and we do it twice this time. So that's E7 twice, then A twice. And then this is the unfortunate part of the video where I confess that I lied to you. I lied to you about the bar chord thing, guys. So there's one bar chord in the song, but you don't really have to do it as a bar chord. And I think it's going to be okay. And I'll show you a little alternative way to do it if you really don't want to do it. So it's an F sharp bar chord, pointer finger, second fret on the top string. And you would like to have that finger smash it on and everything. Then ring finger plays four on the second string from the top. Pinky plays four on third from the top. Middle finger plays three on seconds from the bottom. So it sounds like this. We're gonna do our strumming pattern twice on this chord. Yeah, twice. So we do it twice there. Um, if you can do this chord, great. If you cannot, I will tell you that you do not need to smash down on every string. If the bottom two strings are just muted, and so we just hear. That's great, that's fine. That's I can live with that. It sounds great. If you're still like, no, I just refuse to ever put my hand in this shape, here's what you can do. Instead of having your pointer finger on the second fret up here, have your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the bottom. So we've got two second string from the bottom, then middle finger on three of the third from the bottom, then ring finger and pinky are on four of the second from the top and third from the top. The bottom string, it doesn't matter. It can be open because then it's just an F sharp seven chord, which works great. Or it could be muted, doesn't matter. Um, but you may not play the top string. So you can have your thumb touching the top string or with your strumming, you can just aim for the bottom like four and then you almost certainly won't hit the top. And that works great. I know it's still kind of a pain to get to, but what are you gonna do? So anyway, so so far for the C section, we had E seven twice, A twice. F sharp twice. Then we go to a chord that I completely remember. Of course, we go to a B7 chord. So B7 is middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, third string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, and pinky, second fret on the bottom string. Top string must be muted by your thumb. B7. We strum this one twice. At this point in time, I think we're done with the C section, guys. So let's play the whole C section all the way through. This is where they sing, I can see it in your eyes that you despise the same spies. Beating to feel like a rap god, rap god. That was pretty, I'm not embarrassed that I did that. I think that was a completely cool thing to do just now. One, two, here we go. E7. sharp for the bar chord then definitely oh, wait that's not what it is what happened so so far we did the a section then the b section then the c section then we go back to the a section that's when they sing i practice every day to find some clever lines to say guys after that we do the b section once again then that's when the stri the violins and stuff come in and they have their whole thing over the chords from the A section. Then we do the B section again and then we do the ending. Pretty confusing, right? So what was it? That was A section, B section, C section. A section, B section, A section, B section. Okay, that's not that confusing. That's no problem. Pff, I got it. Easy. It's too easy, a little too rough. All right, let me show you the ending. So we've finished our final B section. So that's our E7, E7 again, then A, then C7, 
Then F sharp to B7, F sharp to B, then E. Okay, so right here, instead of normally when we end the B section, we go E to E6, E to E6. Instead, we're gonna go like this, E all the way through, and then we go to a C, not necessary, not a C7, a regular C. So that was just three seconds from the top, then two, then open, and then one C chord. You go, then back to the E, then C, then E, then C, and then it fades out. So I would just slow down and do one more strum of E, and I feel like for the second half of this tutorial, I really started phoning it in.